channel again. Um, I just wanted to make this little tiny whoop um, a video. This is my first one. Of course, I'm sure there's some improvements that everyone um, may be able to suggest in the comments below. Um, but um, I have 3D printed this uh, case out of uh, TP, uh, not TPU, but uh, a Pet G. A little case for my tiny whoop so it's easier to carry in the, well, it's not a tiny whoop, but it's a clump anyways. Uh, 3D printed the case. Um, uh, with the rotor rod symbol on the front, uh, it's printed out a PET G. So it's got a clear look to it. Uh, here is the um, the tiny whoop itself, but just to kind of cover the case really quick, um, it also has a little symbol uh, down on the bottom right, right uh, rotor riot symbol. Uh, of course, it's basically just to keep the way it's easier to carry and not have to worry about breaking it, uh, breaking your uh, tiny whoop. <clears throat> um, this is also a uh, a 3D printed frame. Um, it is uh, out of a PLA, just standard PLA. Um, I like how it has this little um, uh, mount on the top of it for uh, the camera. You just pop your camera inside there. Um, it also has this little um, uh, mount here for that holds the battery and holds the uh has the bottom for the motors here um i've, I've left the i have the b core flight left the flight controller in here the free uh the free sky uh, version uh there is nothing on this particular frame there's nothing holding the flight controller in it kind of just snaps in there um the only reason why i have the rubber band around it is to give a little bit of extra support for the battery in here and this doesn't fall off um and um, uh, also to hold my wire so I can take the camera on and off. Uh, the camera is the TX02 uh, and I have uh, took the uh, antenna off of it, uh, the circle paralyzed antenna off of it so I could put this um, uh, dipole antenna on it. Basically all I did was take one of my um, my old Antennas, just a second. All I did was take one of these antennas apart in order to modify that uh, to put that lighter antenna on. Um, of course, like I said, the the, uh, the VTX is where I can remove it uh, if I want to go with the non uh, video or FPV. Uh, these are the motors I have, the Furious FPV motors. Um, they are 1900 kV and I also have uh, these props right here of course I'm going to put all the parts in the description below including the STL files um, I did have to modify this STL file in order to do the different size batteries um, these are the batteries that I went with a 5 pack um, and basically um, this little cheap charger was one of the ones that I got um, off of a um, uh, old uh, charger. So basically, the uh, I mean, the, an old set of batteries for my e machines uh, uh, was it uh, zero tens? I think I can't remember. Um, but uh, basically, I took the uh, the there was a charger cord that come with these. Basically, I cut the end off the charger cord that come with this set of batteries. Um, and I put that onto the, um, the beta flight flight controller. Um, once again, for them types of batteries to fit, this SDL file will be different than the one I linked because I did not create this, uh, S this file for this 3D print and it uses the smaller stick USB type size, uh, um, batteries. So, um, but yeah, this is what I use to build the tiny whoop. Uh, clone and a little case here uh, and it, it doesn't quite fit perfectly because this frame is a, a little bit got this little bit of edge right here but once again uh, I'm not planning on putting anything else in there I can fit it in there just fine and just to know that it doesn't come open in my bag throw this uh, rubber band on it <laughs> 